let me give you some more details about the MacWalk. So we do have like the MacDrone R3, two three axis flux gate sensors here and there with a distance of one meter. Those three axes are recorded separately and their direction is indicated with a label. Also sensor one is indicated with a red marking. That will help you to always point the same sensor in the top, front or left position. Furthermore, the data logger has an internal SD card that can store data forever, so you can do endless recordings. The handle on top of it now has the button integrated. If you only have one button to power on, to start, stop the measurement and also power off. We do have a battery compartment here that houses a lithium-ion battery with 2000 mAh capacity, so that is fine for five hours recording. Furthermore, there are no connectors here anymore, but we do have the um, USB download interface here. Furthermore, we do have an optional GPS input here. That means you can rely on the internal GPS or you go for an external GPS that you need to plug in here to um, maybe create even more precise GPS data than with the small internal GPS device that we put into here. The whole device weights around about 2.4 kilogram, so it's quite easy, quite handy, so you shouldn't have any problems to hold that during your field survey. If not, we do have those two D-rings here, so you can click in a carrying belt, so to even make it more easier to have this device in your hand in the field. The flux gates that we're using are FGM 3D-75 flux gates, that means they have a measurement range of plus minus 75,000 nanotesla. Um, with the earth magnetic field between 14 and 60,000 nanoteslas, uh, that should be fine to also detect your anomalies from objects, infrastructure, soil layers, whatever you're looking for, quite safely and precise.